everyone today I will be going over how to install a power switch on your AR drone 2.0 here's my AR drone still pretty intact I've crashed it a couple of times broken it many times I accidentally put my adhesive thinking it was used to keep the frame together put it in the wrong place so now I'm gonna install this button LED button I got from Radio Shack very simple button just as a pass through. All right. First thing we're gonna do is just take it apart and put it back. Okay. If you haven't taken your AR drone apart before, pretty much just stick a knife under the shell casing here, and you can just uh, slowly take it out. Uh, I've already taken mine off plenty of times, and I just you know stick it back there because I know I'm gonna be messing with it some more. So I'm just gonna pull it off. As you can see, you have your inside parts here. You just want to start. Unplugging the camera from the back. Mine's just gonna stick right back here, so I'm just gonna leave it right there. Then here, we're gonna take a little screwdriver and just unscrew the board from the frame. We're on the last screw. Take this off. Just let it hang right here. Pull this back. Gonna unhook the board from the power. Very simple. What we're gonna do is pull out the main board out with the wire so we can crimp the wires with our wire crimper and cutter. So we're gonna cut the wire and just make it so that we can add the switch button and fuse it to the button right here. To the little crimps. Alright. So we're just gonna unhook the USB part of it and pull it out through the bottom I don't feel much like taking the whole thing apart I don't want to take out the cross so I'm just gonna pull it out open it up you'll notice that it's a little uncomfortable to work with the wires because they have a wire crimp or a zip tie here you might want to just cut that off in order to be able to crimp the wires I'll just cut that off Now we have nice and loose wires. Just separate them slightly. You make sure you don't cut the black wire for the USB. And then just give yourself enough room. These wires are a little short, so we might have to get additional wiring in order to put the switch button and get a good connection and enough space to extend it back up to its original position and you actually need more room to actually be able to work this back onto a place so let me find some wires I have my broken central cross here where is, which is where I'm gonna get my extra wire from I actually broke this fine I was out and as you can see I broke one of the legs or the cross sides so I'm just going to cut some wires off of this and use it for my AR drone uh, switch button mod. So I'm just going to cut some wires here. Just don't cut the red wire. Don't cut the red wire. Oh shit, I'll cut the red wire. Just cut off all the wires and attach it to the button. First thing I'm going to do is test it. Make sure everything works. Once I know that everything works, I will solder it and drill a hole into the drone in the back so that I can attach it so now I'm just gonna cut these two wires here attach these and see if everything works with the battery and all I just finished uh, taking the board out of the drone and connecting the board to the button so now I'm just gonna plug it to the 
drone and test it to see if everything is working as it should. So first thing I'm going to do actually before I actually plug it in is just test to see if this little light turns on. And nothing is going on. So let me make sure my wires are properly connected. Okay, so now I've managed to connect the battery or the wires to the switch and everything is working as you can see on, off, on, off. I actually tested it with the rotors as well and everything's working fine. Uh, one thing I did notice is you do not need to cut both wires. I cut them both because it's actually I'm gonna just extend the wire so I have more room to work with uh, once I install the button. So now what I'm gonna do is just drill a hole into the bottom of the drone and start uh, putting everything back together. Let's see how that goes. All right, so I've managed to put the button in. Now I'm just screwing the main board back together. And let's see how this turns out, and then we'll do a test flight. Let's see how this goes. Make sure everything is in nice and tight. Secondary board in. Screw that back in to the frame. And lastly, back together a little tight but back together nonetheless now we're going to do a dry test and see if our button works accordingly let's see and let's take the battery here uh, I actually burnt out the LED so you will not see the button turn on here but the battery is plugged in as you can see no LED is turned on on the rotor, so let's just turn it on. There you go. All right. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. And that is how you add a power button to your AR drone. Nice. Very proud of myself. Definitely a little challenging. Don't recommend it for everybody. Might actually end up messing up your drone more than anything else. I actually cost a couple of things on it. But I'm happy. I installed my power button. And now for the test flight. <laughs> 